Superior is back with the Indigo Disc DLC, and it got one of the most insane buffs. Superior has the ability Contrary, which reverses the effect of stat changes. This is paired extremely nicely with Leaf Storm, which is a 130 base power grass move that drops the user's special attack by two stages. With Contrary, this instead straight up doubles Superior's special attack. The Stellar Terra type is a brand new mechanic introduced in the DLC that gives you the usual Terra boost to every single one of your moves once per match. Also, Terra Blast now becomes super effective to opponents who are also terrestrialized, no matter the type. However, using Terra Blast drops your attack stats one stage, but Superior's Contrary gives it another boost. Add on the fact that Superior has a solid base 113 speed, and this thing can get out of hand quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on my quest to check out all of the new and returning Pokemon from the DLC. If you're interested in that kind of thing, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free, it'll only take you a second. I promise you will not regret it. And let's go ahead and jump into the match. First of all, I've got to say, this is one of the craziest games I've had in a long time. And this team is super fun. So my opponent is going to go ahead and lead off with the Hisuian Arcanine. I toss out the Bubble Spider and I do not want to be head smashed this early on. Basically, I say, no head for me. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and switch. And I actually, I'm working with the Eviolite Duraludon. And I'll tell you what, this thing is an absolute monster right now. Defensively, it is literally insane. I come in, I can take a head smash all day long. And even though this thing did get a super cool evolution, it now opens the door for incredibly fun Eviolite shenanigans with just regular old Duraludon. So they obviously are gonna end up switching out the Arcanine here has no business staying in. And this allows me a free opportunity to set up some Stealth Rock. So they decide to switch into the Blood Moon Ursaluna. This is again, one of the scariest threats right now. Literally nothing wants to deal with this thing. So I gotta figure out a plan and I do not wanna take an earth power. So I figure, hey, I'm actually, this allows me to switch pretty easily back into the Araquanid. And here's what's crazy. This bubble spider, I feel like people are sleeping on this thing as well. It has base 132 special defense. And I'm actually also running max HP. So I find myself in a spot where earth power doesn't do a whole lot. I can essentially set up my sticky web here, which is gonna enable the rest of my team and I can also end up taking a Blood Moon. There's not very many Pokemon in the game that want to be on the receiving end of this thing's Blood Moon, but we're able to just barely hang on, and Araquanid is literally insane. But, you know, what we do have in special defense, we definitely lack in speed. These little spider legs, they don't get going because this thing actually outspeeds me, finishes me off with a Moon Blast, and I was at least able to set up my Sticky Web, which is gonna be super important because that opens the door for the superior. I can bring in this thing and I'll tell you what, we are about to be an entire menace. So here's the situation. I figure I'm gonna go for a substitute turn one. I know obviously I'm faster. I can kind of scout if they wanna switch, I grab a free sub, but they actually just stay in and they're gonna go for that blood moon. The substitute is also kind of interesting because obviously with blood moon, you're not allowed to use it twice in a row. So now this thing's gonna be forced to go for something else, but it's worth it essentially to go for that sub. Uh, I great great position if they do switch. However, they stay in and I figure, all right, it's time to start blasting. I'm actually gonna go for the Stellar Terra, which is pretty much, Superior is like the best Pokemon that can use this thing. It's contrary ability, it just makes the, a no downside to this at all. So call me Thanos out here because I now have the Infinity Stones on my damn head, looking goofy, but also fresh at the same time. And this is actually gonna allow a Leaf Storm to get that Terra boost. And even before we have contrary work its magic, it is in fact gonna just straight up knock out the bear and give us a plus two special attack. So now my special attack is doubled and Superior is ready to pop off just like that. We take some Life Orb recoil, but now they get a free switch into whatever they like and they're gonna go into the, the Ogre Pond. I'm thinking, hey buddy, you're old news, man. You're from the first DLC and I am faster, especially because you get caught up in that sticky web. All right, Superior being naturally super fast with the sticky web support, we're pretty much faster than everything. And at this point, I can go for a Terra Blast. I have plus two special attack, and that is pretty much just gonna knock this thing out straight away. However, they actually decide to go for the Terra themselves, and Hearth Flame Ogre Pond is one of the craziest mons right now as well, with the fact that uh, it's actually, it, it's full on just goes Mega Form, gets in body aspect, which is gonna boost this thing's attack. However, with that Stellar Terra, we get the benefit of being able to have super effective damage on any opponents that are Terra'd and we just throw all the damn Infinity Stones at him and that is just gonna straight up knock out the Ogre Pond. Uh, so I don't care how big your mask is, Superior is gonna just absolutely wipe you out. So down goes the Ogre and if Superior wasn't crazy enough, rather than getting the special attack drop from using the Stellar Terror Blast, 
we actually get a boost from it because of Contrary. So now we're just sitting here chilling at like 9,000 special attack and their answer is gonna be switching into the Hisuian Arcanine. So here's where I have an interesting decision. Either, I, I assume they bring this in because they have the extreme speed. And if this thing's like Choice Banded, that is definitely gonna kill Superior here and I still have some value left in this thing. So what I'm gonna do is predicting the extreme speeds, kind of their only way to get around the Superior at this point, I'm just gonna go right back into the Duraludon, who has a good counter against this thing. They instead go for the Flare Blitz, either they make a God read, or they aren't actually carrying uh, the extreme speed. So it does do a decent bit with the crit, however I know that without a critical hit, I am barely able to live with 11 HP. And then this allows me to fire off a nice little body press, which we imagine kills, but it literally lives it with like 10 HP, and that is not ideal, because one more Flare Blitz does take care of the Duraludon, it doesn't take the recoil because of its rock head ability, and at least I was able to chip this thing into range where I can easily knock it out. But now the plan is figuring out what I kind of want to do here. So I decided to go into Tentacruel. I know that this thing can definitely take an attack from this. I can fire off uh, pretty much anything to knock it out. Also, they can't really switch because then they have to come in on Stealth Rock, and unless they're able to get rid of the hazard, Arcanine's effectively kind of useless at that point. But they actually end up going for the switch out, and they're going to end up bringing in the Dragonite here, uh, likely just expecting something like a Surf. However, Tentacruel with my crazy legs, I'm actually going to end up going for uh, the Sludge Bomb, which is great because we get some solid chip damage, but more importantly, we poison his ass. So that is super solid, and Dragonite is, no matter what, it's always a huge threat. It has, you know, the potential for extreme speeds always, and it's just a pretty wild mod. However, I do want to conserve my Tentacruel. The reason is, they actually have a superior in the back of their own, and that thing's gonna switch into, you know, Sticky Web, and Contrary is gonna actually give it a speed boost. And I figure Tentacruel is kind of my best check to that thing, so I want to conserve the health. And when I bring in the Electivire, his ass just gets absolutely bopped by an Outrage, and that is unfortunate. At least, though, I know that he is locked into that Outrage, and the poison is gonna start slowly whittling, whittling his down. So it's on a timer at this point, Knowing that it's locked into that Outrage, I can actually go into Superior here. I know that I outspeed this, um, and there's no threat of an extreme speed with it being, you know, locked in. So, here's the plan. Essentially, what I can do here is, rather than going for the kill with the Terror Blast, I can actually substitute. And the idea is that there's a high chance that he gets confused after this next Outrage. And if I can end this matchup with a substitute in front of me, I can essentially have the upper hand against their Superior and kind of just win the game uh, with my Snake. So, it does go for that Outrage does knock out the substitute here, but also the ducks are gonna appear and Buddy is confused as hell over here. So this is a situation where it's kind of a roll, right? If they hit themselves in confusion, I essentially get a free substitute and they die to their own poison so I don't have to take life orb chip. And then I'm behind a sub to basically win the game with superior. So they go for the extreme speed here and they actually do break through the confusion. Does take care of superior, but the cost reward was so worth it for me to essentially just roll that confusion chance uh, because being behind a sub with my superior basically beats theirs and now I find myself in a much scarier situation and I feel like yep I definitely probably should have just gone for the kill but it is what it is I was going for the slam dunk and sometimes you miss so what I can do here is I can go into the tentacruel first uh, it's really unfortunate they actually didn't knock themselves out to that poison um, and I really need to conserve as much health on tentacruel as I can but luckily, they actually do hit themselves in Confusion this time. Essentially just knocks out the Dragonite, and they are down to basically two final Pokemon left. They have the Hisuian Arcanine, who can't come in on the Stealth Rock, but they have a Superior of their own and an Urshifu. So here's exactly why I, I went for the play I did with my Superior, because this one comes in. It takes some Stealth Rock chip, but also does get hit with that Sticky Web, and instead of the drop, Contrary is going to give it a Speed Boost. So it would have been faster than mine and just able to knock me out. So... I know that I can take at least one attack from this thing. They go for the Leaf Storm here, does a round half, which is actually kind of nuts, and <laughs> this allows me to fire off a Sludge Bomb. Really hoping it has enough to kill, but unfortunately it just barely hangs on. So, now I'm gonna be vulnerable to die to another Leaf Storm, especially with that plus two boost, and my only mon I have in the back is gonna be the two cannon. So, they go for one more Leaf Storm, it does take care of Tentacruel, the crit did not matter, and now I find myself in a spot where I have this toucan that nobody's ever used in their lives before, and I, I'm relying on this thing to win me the game. So, here's the thing. Looking at damage calcs, depending on what this superior build is looking like, a plus four Leaf Storm actually still doesn't knock me out. So, 
Instead of going for the damage, they instead opt to go for the reflect, which is absolutely amazing because this allows me to fire off a rock blast, which does end up knocking this thing out. And down goes the superior skill link. Two cannon has a chance to win us the game, and we do have one trick under our sleeves. Keep in mind, they do have the reflect still up, and at this point, the only mon they have left is going to be that Urshifu. So, the reflect being up was likely an insurance policy on them, knowing that they can likely take an attack from the two cannon. Um, but this thing also has a pretty strong chance to just knock me out. This thing literally, with its surging strikes, gets three critical hits, and there's not much you can do about that, unless you have the ability to heat your beak up. I'm gonna go for the beak blast, and essentially that's able to go first. I basically have the hottest beak on this side of the Mississippi, and since they touch it, they make contact on their first surging strike, it actually then burns them, and now, their next two attacks, we are able to live. So even with the critical hits, Thankfully, since it's burnt, Toucan is able to clutch out uh, the damage there and try to burn him three times in the process, which is kind of funny. But Buddy's fists are burnt to a crisp over there, and the icing on the cake is that Beak Blast actually is enough to end up knocking this thing out with a critical hit, which is hilarious. And down goes the Urshifu, and Toucanon has gone where officially no Toucanon has gone before. And their final Pokemon being Arcanine just comes in, dies to the Stealth Rock, and that is going to be the end of the game. So that was literally one of the most insane endings and with a really cool kind of uh, kind of tech there. So I had a lot of fun with this one and definitely obviously some luck on my end, but it is what it is, it's the game we play. And thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate all the support. Make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what Pokemon you'd like to see me highlight and maybe I'll come out with that next. See ya.